hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to guide you how to create a bouncing ball animation using the scratch so let me play the video let me play this animation so you can see here please observe you can see the ball is touching the blue rectangle on the touch of the blue rectangle the ball bounces back in the different direction you can see a little bit angle and on touch of the ball with the blue rectangle score also increases you can see the top left corner once the ball touches also the blue color the rectangle it's it plays sound now once touches the red color it's also play the sound the bite sound and animation stops so let's open the sprite and we are going to include the required component so we have a three component to add one is a ball you can see another one is a blue rectangle another one the third one is a red rectangle so how to sprite so we are going to delete, delete this default sprite which is a cat so i'm deleting here then click on this bottom right corner choose a sprite and search you can see the ball is here if you are not able to see you can search you can use the, any kind of ball you can see even you can see this basketball so let me use this ball ball is included let me bring create another sprite you know go for the paint the component the blue rectangle so for that we are going to create a costume so click on the sprite the costume is opened so just let me zoom out just to see the full stitch bring the rectangle here so click on rectangle shape and drag it here so i have dragged it click then select be selected and go for the fill color change the color of this one to make it blue uh, choice of your color you can make it so i make it blue here and it as a then then done when i click outside you can see it has a black outline it's a good practice to remove this black outline you know because we are going to use the sense you know when it touches the blue color then it should bounce back so that's why so we are going to remove this outline as well so how to remove select this one again select this one go for outline and click on this the red has been removed you can see so we have included the the blue rectangle as well which is considered as a save bar because this is a will be used for the moving the left and right side let us add another sprite the red color so let me again zoom out go to the rectangle shape drag it like this and then change the fill color click on this and put the red color you can adjust to see the red color Red click is done. You can use on the stage. You can hold it. You can see and you can relocate. You can do it. Put down. You can send it down. Come on, go down. Yeah. Go down. Even if we can use this, this, this one, we can put it here to put down. We can use this coordinate, x coordinate and y coordinate. Fine. So we have done it. We can adjust this one. So now we have done it. So first of all, we are going to add the uh, movement to this, this blue, you know, blue rectangle. So when how we light so we are going to link the arrow left arrow key on the keyboard and right arrow key the keyboards when we, we we press left arrow key it should move towards left when we press right arrow key it should move towards the right so how it can be done let's see so first of all click on the uh, blue sprite here you can see a sprite area go to the code make sure that this one the blue sprite is selected then we are going to add the motion so we are going to instruct the computer when we press left arrow key go to the towards left and when we press a right arrow key move towards right so we are going to add the events so go to the events block and look for the second one this one drag and drop here so when a space key press but we, we don't want using the space we are going to use the left key so click on this you'll find left arrow key so when left arrow key press what should do add the motion so we are going to the motion block and adding the motion okay let me run and show you what happens when i run this one and i'm clicking the left arrow key guys but it's going towards right i'm clicking just believe me i'm clicking the left arrow key but going right so why because this is a move 10 you know this stage that you are looking at here all the sprite is appearing this is a stage this is a stage this stage have the coordinate 2d coordinate x and y so let me add the background to show you the coordinate so we have some background which has a coordinate so let me use this one you can see let me remove this at the center you have x0 and y0 so if you want to you know move this uh, this rectangle towards either this side left left side then you have to write the minus and when you want to change to the right side you have to write a plus means you are adding the plus means you are sending to the towards right side like that so hope you understood this coordination so that's why we need to have here minus 10 because of coordination center. 
So now I'm running this again. Let me click the green flag and let me play. So now I'm pressing the left button, guys. So now it's going toward the left. But I'm when when I click the right key, it's not happening. Nothing happening because there is no code written for that. So what we do? Just we copy paste. So right click on this here and make it duplicate and put it. Now make it change here arrow key as a right key and see it's going towards right so plus so no negative so plus 10 plus 10 now click on green flag and see what is that now i'm clicking the right key it's moving right key see when i'm clicking the left key going to the left so we have added the movement to the rectangle for green we uh, for red we don't have to do anything because a day uh, red flag is a red rectangle is just a static Fine. Now we need to bounce. You know, we need to add the motion to this ball. So when when this ball should start jumping, when we click the green flag. Okay. So let us click on the ball sprite. Make sure the ball sprite is ap appearing here to add the code in this. So go to the event. When we click, okay. When we click this one, this ball should start moving. Okay. Forever, forever, forever until we click the stop animation or automatically it touches this one so as we will go one at a time so when once we click the green flag it should start moving so forever so we are going to control forever and adding the motion to this move forever sorry so let me add the motion here come on yeah so when we click you can see the ball is moving moving but it's going from left towards right but it touches the you know edges but it does not come back so let me put it drag and put it here what happens see it is going back you know so what we have to do we have to tell to the computer if this ball touches the edges like edge is this edge is this edge is this four edges there it should bounce back so we go for the motion and rotate go down go down and look for the if on edge bounce look at see now it's bouncing back but it's moving towards left to right, left to right, left to right, okay, or right to left, vice versa. But this ball should bounce like this, okay, vertically. So we have to add the point in direction movement. So we are going for the, you know, this, this uh, motion and look for the point in direction and put in the beginning, put in the beginning before forever, fine. So now this, what is this 90? 90 is the angle, you know, angle, the degree. So we can do it like this because if you keep like this, it will go like left to right, something like this. So put it something like vertically way, vertical way, like this, like a 15 degree. Then you click on this and you can see what is happening. Now ball is bouncing, look like a bouncing, isn't it? In the different angle, when it's bounce back, it's bounce back in the different angle, something like this, yeah, random. Fine on the 15 degree angle. Fine, we can change this 15 degree also random. We'll check it later. Let me do it next. So now you can see the ball is jumping but bouncing but when it touches the this uh, this blue color rectangle it does not go back it should bounce back after touching this blue so we have to go and add the sensing at this ball once this ball touches this color it should bounce back it touches it bounce back okay so that is what we have to add it so for that we are going to uh, add the you know con you know like the control so in the control we are saying if condition condition checking if condition is blank what when this ball touches the blue color so how this ball should sense the color so we are going for the sensing block touching the color touching the color is here so bring that here and drop it in this condition area so now this color is a purple here so we click on this color and click on this pick color can you see the dawn pick color and go and pick this color like this so it becomes same color once it touches this color what should happen it should bounce back right point in direction so let us go from as when it go let me click see it's not bouncing back because in the condition we have not included anything so that's why it's not going you know it's not going it still is crossing this uh, blue color so let me add this one the point in direction so once it touches point in direction go back it's changing let me do it here exactly now you can see you can see now it's bouncing back after touching this fine so now when it touches this ball it there should be sound you know you should play the sound so let us go and add the sound so go to the sound block and start like a play sound here yeah you can see now sound is coming under the it touches this blue color 
point in direction, bounce back and play this song. Tuck, tuck. But let the system touch now the red color. You can see the red color. But it's because we have to add the code, once it touches the red color, it should stop. Any animation should stop. So what we have to do? We have to add another control if within a forever, but below the if you can see where I have um, where I'm dropping the uh, second if uh, if control. So when if control sense, then touching the color, which color? Red color this time. So click on this one, pick color, red color. What to do? Stop it. So go to the motion, no, sorry, go to the event, stop all. Go to the event and stop all. Stop all. You can see, stop. But once it touches the danger, the, the, this red color bar or red rectangle, it should also play some sound. You can change the sound later, like I say, sound and uh, start sound and you can put it something like this here sorry put it here okay and change the different sound if you want to get sound you can bring guys here you can click on the top side next next to the costume you can add the sound from here you can see different kind of sounds are there you can add it it will appear here then you can go to the code then you click here you will find all the listed sound so here i'm going here now let me run this one okay now stop fine so now you can see in this demo game i have showed you there is a score you can see here a score so how to add the score let's go so we are going to add the score which is a variable so click on the variable block here what is the variable variable is a container a storage that holds the value so i'm going to create a make variable so make a variable i'm writing a score name as a variable let it be by default setting click you can see the score has come so score should increase by one when it touches the blue, you know, blue bar, a blue rectangle. So we have to put in this end. So let us go to the ball and set by default when we start the game, let it be variable should be zero. So let me change the variable score because we have to click here and change the variable score because a score is a variable name. Set is zero when it start, start with a zero. But when it touches this blue color, it's increase. So when if touching the color there, let us change the variable the value so i'm t putting here inside the block i'm writing variable score change by one and then we can see you can see now this is increasing okay guys so hope you like it if you have not subscribed my channels please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get a notification once i publish the new video so let me change the background. Let, let me remove the, you know, let me remove the coordinate. So background. So this is your game now. Guys, please subscribe my channels and your subscription. If you like this video, please like, uh, do comment. Any suggestions, I will be happy to improve in the next video. Thank you. And you can see here now.